The National Bureau of Asian Research (NBR) is an American nonprofit research institution based in Seattle, Washington, with a branch office in Washington, D.C. The organization's mission is to inform and strengthen Asia-Pacific policy. NBR brings together specialists, policymakers, and business leaders to examine economic, strategic, political, globalization, health, and energy issues affecting U.S. relations with East, Central, Southeast and South Asia and Russia. Richard J. Ellings is the current president. Funding for NBR's research comes from NBR itself, foundations, corporations, government departments and agencies, and individuals. NBR undertakes a small amount of contract work for public and private sector organizations. Topic: Early history. In the late 1970s, Senator Henry M. Jackson raised the need for a National Sino-Soviet Center. In conversations with Kenneth B. Pyle, director of the University of Washington Henry M. Jackson School of International Studies. He enlisted Edward Carlson, president and CEO of United Airlines, and Thornton Wilson, CEO of the Boeing Company, to assist in creating an institution that would bridge the gap between those responsible for foreign policy decision-making and the specialists located in universities and research institutes in the U.S. and abroad. The National Bureau of Asian and Soviet Research was established in 1989, seven years after Jackson's death, with grants from the Henry M. Jackson Foundation and the Boeing Company. The organization's founding president was Kenneth B. Pyle. In 1992 the organization dropped, and Soviet, to become the National Bureau of Asian Research. Topic. Programs, centers, and chairs Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political and security affairs The Political and Security Affairs BSA group conducts innovative, forward-looking policy research on a range of Asian political security issues with a particular focus on strategic studies, with the Strategic Asia Program, China Security Issues, U.S. National Security, with the Shalakashvili Chair, and Politics and Leadership through the Pyle Center. Topic. Trade, economic, and energy affairs NBR's Trade, Economic, and Energy Affairs TEA group examines market and policy questions for the Asia-Pacific, with a focus on three broad areas, energy security and policy, energy and the environment, and trade, investment, and economic engagement. Over the years, TEA has undertaken major research initiatives on a broad range of topics, including energy and environmental security, China's IP and innovation policies, Islamic finance, and the status of Myanmar's domestic and foreign policy reforms. The group's longest ongoing initiative is its energy security program, which since 2004 has examined major developments in Asian energy markets and implications for geopolitics. Through TEA, NBR also serves as the Secretariat of the Pacific Energy Summit, an invitation only event that describes itself as conveying leaders from government, business, and research to explore innovative solutions to the dual challenges of rising energy demand and a changing climate." Past program speakers have included Louisiana Congressman Charles Baustany, former U.S. Under Secretary of State for Economic Growth, Energy, and the Environment Robert Hormatz, and Melody Mayer of Chevron. Each year, the summit is held in a different location across the Asia-Pacific, with past sites including Tokyo, Jakarta, Hanoi, and Vancouver, among others. Topic Center for Health and Aging The Center for Health and Aging was established in 2003. 
Michael P. Burt, then director of NBR's Center for Health and Aging, George F. Russell, Jr., chairman of the National Bureau of Asian Research, Leland H. Hartwell, president of the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, and William H. Gates, Sr., co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, met in 2004 to discuss the need for prevention, detection, and treatment of illness early enough to reduce the human and financial cost of disease. Plans to organize and host a Pacific Health Summit in Seattle, Washington, emerged from those discussions. George F. Russell, Jr. and William H. Gates, Sr. co-chaired an advisory group, provided the seed funding for the Pacific Health Summit, and were keynote speakers at the inaugural Pacific Health Summit, which was convened in 2005 by two co-sponsoring organizations, Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center and NBR's Center for Health and Aging. Subsequent annual Pacific Health Summits were co-presented by the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Wellcome Trust, and the National Bureau of Asian Research, which served as the summit's secretariat from its founding. The world health leaders and top corporate executives attending this invitation-only event have been referred to as global health luminaries. Since NBR concluded the annual meeting in 2012, the focus of the Center for Health and Aging has shifted from an annual meeting to more targeted work that builds on the summit's past themes and concrete outcomes. Topic. John M. Shalakashvili Chair in National Security Studies In 2006, NBR endowed the John M. Shalakashvili Chair in National Security Studies. The chair recognizes General John Shalakashvili, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, for his 39 years of military service to the United States, years of leadership on the NBR Board of Directors, and his role as senior advisor to NBR's Strategic Asia Program. The stated mission of the chair is to provide a distinguished scholar in the national security field with an opportunity to inform, strengthen, and shape the understanding of U.S. policymakers on critical current and long-term national security issues related to the Asia-Pacific. The inaugural holder, Dennis C. Blair, was appointed in 2009 by President Obama to serve as the Director of National Intelligence. In September 2010, former commander of the U.S. Pacific Command Thomas B. Fargo came on as the second chairholder. On March 3, 2016, the National Bureau of Asian Research announced that Admiral Greenert Rett, would become the third holder of the John M. Shalakashvili Chair in National Security Studies Charlie Chair at NBR. 7. At NBR, Admiral Greenert brings to bear his years of experience in the U.S. Navy to help inform policy debates on critical issues pertaining to the Asia-Pacific through briefings of senior leaders, and research and writing. Topic. Kenneth B. and Ann H. H. Pyle Center for Northeast Asian Studies In 2006, NBR created the Kenneth B. and Ann H. H. Pyle Center for Northeast Asian Studies, named in honor of NBR's founding president and his wife. The Pyle Center conducts research on Northeast Asia to advance the comprehensive study of the region, particularly as it pertains to its security, political, and economic dynamics. Topic: <laughs> Slade Gorton International Policy Center. In 2010, NBR launched the Slade Gorton International Policy Center, named in honor of United States Senator Slade Gorton who served as Majority Leader of the Washington State House of Representatives, for three terms as State Attorney General, and for three terms as United States Senator. The Gorton Center incorporates and builds on current projects in the areas of economics and trade at NBR as well as addressing the issues central to Slade's work on the 9-11 Commission, focusing on how America organizes internally to protect the country from outside threats. Topic. National Asia Research Program 
From 2009 to 2011, NBR and the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars partnered to launch the National Asia Research Program (NARP), a national research and conference program designed to reinvigorate and promote the policy-relevant study of Asia. In April 2010, the program selected a premier group of National Asia Research Associates and Fellows, nominated by U.S. research organizations and higher learning institutions with top programs on Asia. Topic. Publications NBR publishes books, a peer-reviewed journal, and occasional reports. Since 2001, NBR has published the annual edited volume Strategic Asia, which incorporates assessments of economic, political, and military trends and focuses on the strategies that drive policy in the region through a combination of country, regional, and topical studies authored by Asia Studies specialists and international relations experts. Ashley J. Tellis, a senior associate of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, has served as the research director for the Strategic Asia Program. Since January 2006, NBR has published the biannual journal Asia Policy, which presents academic research on the Asia-Pacific with a focus on policy conclusions for the United States. Loyola Marymount University Asian Studies Professor Thomas Plate has described the Asia Policy Board of Editorial Advisors as a virtual who's who in the field of Asian policy scholarship. Topic Governance Board of Directors Chairman, Charles W. Brady, Chairman Emeritus, Invesco, Limited Chairman Emeritus, George F. Russell Jr., Chairman Emeritus, Russell Investment Vice Chairman and Treasurer, John V. Reindlaub, President, Asia Pacific Wells Fargo & Company Karen Bartia, Vice President and Senior Counsel, International Law and & Policy, General Electric Admiral Dennis C. Blair, U.S. Navy, Retired Lawrence W. Clarkson, Honorary Member of the Board, Senior Vice President, The Boeing Company, Retired William Bill M. Colton, Vice President of Corporate Strategic Planning, ExxonMobil Corporation Norman Dix, Senior Policy Advisor, Van Ness Feldman, LLP Richard J. Ellings, President, The National Bureau of Asian Research NBR, Thomas E. Fisher, Honorary Member of the Board, Senior Vice President, Unocle Corporation Retired R. Michael Gadbor, Distinguished Senior Fellow, Institute of International Economics Economic Law, Georgetown University Law Center Joachim Kempen, Honorary Member of the Board, Senior Vice President, Microsoft Corporation Retired Clark S. Kinlan, Honorary Member of the Board, President and Chief Executive Officer, Corning Cable Systems, Corning Incorporated Ryo Kubota, CEO, President, and Chief Executive Officer, Acucella Inc. Maria Lovanos Katawi, former Secretary General of the International Chamber of Commerce Melody Mayer, President, Chevron Asia Pacific Exploration and Production Company, Chevron Corporation Pamela S. Passman, President and CEO, Center for Responsible Enterprise and Trade Create, C. Michael Petters, President and Chief Executive Officer, Huntington Ingalls Industries HII, Kenneth B. Pyle, Professor, Founding President, University of Washington, the National Bureau of Asian Research Tom Robertson, Vice President and Deputy General Counsel, Microsoft Corporation David K.Y. Tang, Managing Partner, Asia, K&L Gates LLP Tadataka Yamada, Chief Medical and Scientific Officer and Executive Vice President, Takeda Pharmaceutical Company Limited NBR Counselors Norm Dix, Senior Policy Advisor, Van Ness Feldman, LLP, Former United States Congressman Admiral Thomas B. Fargo, U.S. Navy, Retired, John M. Shalakashvili Chair in National Security Studies, The National Bureau of Asian Research Slade Gorton, Counselor in Residence Joseph Lieberman, Senior Counsel Kastowitz, Benson, Torres and Friedman, Former United States Senator NBR Board of Advisors Michael Armacost Nicholas Eberstadt Carl Eichenbury Donald K. Emerson Admiral Thomas B. Fargo, U.S. Navy Rett, Aaron L. Friedberg Robert Gilpin Lee H. Hamilton Stephen E. Hansen Harry Harding Political Scientist Donald C. Hellman Robert J. Herbold Former Microsoft COO Carla Anderson Hills Robert 
Robert Hormatz, David M. Lampton, Nicholas R. Lardy, Richard Lawless, J. Jin Lee, Kenneth Liebethal, William J. Lynn, Three Rajan Menon, Mary Minnick, Sam Nunn, Joseph Nye, Stanley Palmer, Dwight H. Perkins, Thomas R. Pickering, Clarine Nardi, Riddle Stanley, Roth, Sheldon Simon, Ashley J. Tellis, John P. White.